This is Ice Cream Gecko and today I'm taking a look at the Burger King Rebel Whopper. So the craze is over, the hype is gone and now it is time for me to take a look at this. <laughs> I waited quite a while for uh, well, the cashier to get me this thing. It was sitting there for a solid 4-5 minutes. Now it's a bit soggy but um, looks all right. I mean, right from the start, this this doesn't this doesn't look right. This is supposed to be 100% beef less, so a vegetarian patty. There was a bit of an outcry from vegetarians and vegans out there that uh, those are being cooked on the same grill, and now then, now oh, this is not a real. A real vegetarian patty anymore, but there's mayo on there too. I do not think that this is without eggs. Anyways, um, let's slice this in half first. Get a bit of a cross section look at it. This is what it looks like, halved. Looks quite decent from this perspective. Now if we take up, take off the bun, we've got our, our lettuce right there. We've got some onions, which look decent. Some pickles, two of those, an onion sliced. Another one, I guess, is right there. Thing below that? No, nothing below that. That's it. So um, I'll give this a taste test now. They asked me if I wanted uh, bacon on this. I didn't want bacon on this. 4.49 in euros is what I paid for it, and um, the Burger King Rebel Whopper is now going in. Now, to be honest, after half of this, if somebody didn't tell me that there was no meat in this, that this was a vegetarian patty, then I wouldn't have noticed. Maybe that's not really speaking for the regular meat patty, but uh, most of the burger, when it comes to the flavour, apparently doesn't have to be meat. You know, it, uh, Seems, I mean, this right here seems a bit. It's it's olive-ish, green-ish. I do not know if that comes comes through on the camera. It looks a bit weird, doesn't? I mean, it's it's close to meat, but it's not not right there. Not quite there. Let's grab some of this off and uh, see if it tastes peculiar. Very different. Uh, let's see. It tastes like meat in a way that there is no meat, but the kind of grilled flavors there, which is nice. It tastes a bit eggy. I don't know. Is there egg in there? A bit. It tastes a bit of egg, but you know, it's it's weird. Like. Tastes a bit like those rather cheap sandwiches that you get when there is steak on there or a burger sandwich. You know, these cheap microwave burgers. Tastes a lot like that. Maybe after all those all those years we, we finally found out that there was both vegetarian all along. There wasn't really meat on there. Now flavour-wise the veggie patty isn't really my thing, but um, if I'm honest. I'm not a big burger eater, and I can't really distinguish all that well between those. It doesn't taste of meat, but you know, the only time I have a burger usually is when I'm drunk, uh, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and the only place that's still open is Burger King, or McDonald's for that matter. So that's usually the time when I have a burger. So, um, yeah, not really, not really an expert in this topic, but... I've got to say, overall, the Rebel Whopper 
is a decent little burger, a decent little sandwich, and I will definitely go for one again. It's uh, at 4.49, very similarly similarly priced as the regular Whopper, and I've got to say, it's decent in taste, and it doesn't look weird either. And if it's good for the environment, I guess, then uh, that's not too bad either. <laughs> so the Rebel Whopper, I can definitely recommend this, quite good. And uh, let me know what you think about this, if you had this before, and if I talked absolute trash and you think it's garbage. <laughs> In any case, thank you very much for watching. I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, goodbye.